everybody, and welcome back for Take Two. We've had some technical difficulties and some stupid things that have already happened. Hello, and welcome to the AGP Podcast. As always, I am your host. I am the owner-operator of AGP. Now this camera is all messed up, and my show has been slightly taken over by my dog. Yep. She has confiscated my uh, keyboard. But, of course, as always, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. It's just another random podcast. Don't know what I'm going to talk about. Don't know what's going to be said. But it's going to be said with one of my closest and dearest friends. My right hand, because she's completely mad, Cassie. <laughs> I am completely mad. I don't Good know tech. why. I, I copied the right link, and I'm... I send it to you, and then it showed me an old one, and then it gave me a completely different link when I clicked on it again to invite. I don't know what the hell this thing's doing. It just wanted me to be in a different spot. I was like, am I really just going to, like, I, and then it's like, you know, there's two hours on it, and it's like, this has to be the old one, right? It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Of course, now that makes me want to make sure. I want to resend it to everybody else. I don't know if there's anyone else. Hi. <laughs> Her spot. I need this. Like, I seriously need this. Oh, now you'll move. Thanks. Just in case you are trying to get in and the other link is not working, try this one. For some reason, the other link is now the wrong link. Yay. Yep. Streamyard, because <laughs> we're supposed to have a special guest. His name's Liam Gray Wolf. He is another Twitch streamer here um, on well Twitch, obviously, because Twitch streamer. And huh. but he could just be late getting home because I know that he lives in California, love. And um, well, he's three hours behind us, so it's like four o'clock in the afternoon for him. Yeah. Mm. So how was your day? How are you doing? <laughs> my day was okay. I get to go on vacation tomorrow. Going to Chicago this weekend should be fun. See Rammstein. Nice. Right, nice. should be off. At How was your day? Sounds... Oh, we, we, we don't night. talk about my day. It was a good day. I'm on. Oh, you. There are some people in this world that seriously deserve to have their head bashed into a wall repeatedly until their face gets peeled off. Only some people? Lots of people? I just, I do not understand how people can be so fucking lazy. I ow. can. I'm lazy. Cassie, if you work in the food industry with me, and I saw you leaning up against the wall sleeping. I beat the shit oh, out wow. of you. That's impressive, though. That's like high school level impressive. Bitch, bitch went on her 15 minute break, came back 45 minutes later. Oh, wow. And then going to look at me and go, my back hurts. You ain't done nothing. No. Well, apparently you slept weird. <laughs> Don't be coming up to me while I am taking orders, bagging orders, making drinks, making your drinks because you can't do shit today and brewing and lifting everything, which I'm not supposed to lift a thing. I have a doctor's note, but somebody's got to get it done because you ain't doing it. And then you're going to look at me and go, my back hurts. Yeah. Do me a favor. Go out in the street and go count the bolts underneath all the cars as they run your ass over. <laughs> That was my day. It's a good day. People wonder why I'm people wonder why I'm not a people person. People <laughs> suck. Yeah, generally. And then oh, it was just what what the hell? Oh, they started okay. Um you can agree with me. You could disagree with me. That's one of the nice things about being friends. We agree on some things. We disagree on other things. Okay. But, you know. <laughs> Fizzy. No. 
so body positivity. Okay. You know, that thing that really doesn't exist and people just say it to blow smoke up your ass, in my opinion. Oh, everybody's pretty in their own way. No. (gasps) Somebody did not like my opinion on this. It's like, no. It's like some babies are ugly. Like, you'll you'll fight you. Some babies are ugly. (laughs) Look, I get it. Okay. Now, beauty truly is in the eye of the world. I, can, I, I, I that I get. There you, is something for everybody. Is is you I think may find this person is attractive, and this person no. may find themselves as attractive. True. But in all honesty, how many times do you see the most drop dead gorgeous girl, and they're all like, uh, uh, and you go, oh, you're pretty. No, I'm not, bitch. You look like an Instagram model. Don't. Mhm. Okay. And then and then they go, but everybody's pre- no, 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 honey, not everybody's pretty. <laughs> there, there are different standards. I'm sorry, there really is. You know, I to me, I'm not ugly, and maybe someone finds me pretty or attractive or beautiful, and I can't. I honestly can't see it because I see myself as very average looking. I'm, I don't look, you know, at least, I, you know, at least I'm not like to the point where like I look like the stuff that you scrape out of the bottom of your shoes with a stick and then you do this <laughs> and then you Definitely do that cat, be. you do the cat face, <laughs> you know, cat face. I'm going to sniff it again. Hey, you know, I, you, you know, at least, uh, most people don't give me cat face when they see me. Thank Christ. But I have to disagree. Not everybody is pretty. Not everybody is beautiful. I still take, but you have a great personality. Oh, well, thank you for the insult. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'll take a great personality. Look, having a great personality Mm -hmm. is actually a good thing. But I, I was like, no, 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 no. Let me stop everybody right here, right now. There are people, and you can take this as whatever gender. I don't care. There are, there's gorgeous, there's handsome, there's beautiful, there's stunning, there's pretty, there's cute, there's average, there's I hit every branch on the tree and then smacked into the concrete and got peeled off. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I feel like I'm there were saying. way more pretty adjectives. <laughs> I'm just Damn. saying, not everybody is pretty. There are hmm. ugly people that that's the reality of it. Now, there may be people who find that person attractive. Okay, it doesn't mean someone can't find them beautiful, right? That's you know, subjective. there are people out there that literally it's all about the personality and something like that. And I've actually seen people go, no, my boyfriend, he ugly as hell, but he's so nice <laughs> to me. Okay, cool. You know, whatever floats your boat. But I don't know. It was kind. Of, I think it kind of. I it just. It just. It sparked something because I think I watched something like a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you've ever heard of this thing like Jubilee or whatever it is, where like they like do all these really stupid random questions and dating things and things like that. No. And they had a sure. bunch of women on there, and they're talking about plastic surgery, and all these women are like, "Yeah, I got this breast augmentation, and I've had this many surgeries, and I have had this many surgeries." And the girls like, "Well, I got this because I felt down." And then they were all like, "Oh, but you need to love you for who you are." But all of you went under the knife. No, <laughs> you do not get to sit here and go. About what you look like. You do not get to sit here and go. You should love you for exactly what you look like. You all. All of you have anywhere between three or more surgeries. One bitch at 225 and go be like, you should love yourself for who you are. Or you've been trying to change everything. Bitch, you've been through 225. No, you don't get to say this. That's like repo men level surgeries. (laughs) No shit. (laughs) And I'm just like, what the fuck? What they ever love you, fuck? And I'm just like, no, okay, guys, like this, okay, Fizzy, your chair's in my way, and I need to finally get settled in because you were, like, totally taking over everything. I don't know, yep. it's just it's just one of those things that it's just like, really? No. I don't know. It's just, it's, no, it's, it's there's something no, that's been on. No. Mark no. Wahlberg in The Happening. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. I mean, beauty is subjective, but you're right. There are certain levels that it's like it. It's global. It's like, yeah, that's pretty. But that's why you find somebody that finds you attractive for who you are. Because it's way easier. That's why I have a dog. Yeah, dogs are great. (laughs) Cats are bitches. Oh. Oh, so I don't know how this happened. But, okay, so you know the, the white shelf that was in the dining room where the cat food used to be where the cat food is i don't know how i miss this because you know i clean my house right okay i clean my house somehow mold got onto that shelving unit oh fun so i had to get a new shelving unit but it was only the one shelf so i removed the shelf and now i have you know okay so i have the rest of the shelves cool i could put out more action figures or whatever as soon as I find a spot in the house. Yeah. That might take time. <laughs> like the I middle mean, of the floor looks good. The middle of the floor yeah. looks like it has some space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, 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 there's uh, an empty space like right about there, I think. In right. my uh, in your walkway. In the, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, right there, there. There's an empty spot right there next to the carpet. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> but, um... You know, it, it's like in Jaws. You're going to need a bigger boat. I'm going to need a bigger place eventually. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or you actually have to, um, God, what's that dirty word? Like get rid of things? Yeah. You have to actually prune, prune the garden. I can't breathe. <laughs> no. That's a, did you just inhale something? <laughs> no, you told me to get rid of my stuff. Oh, okay. Making sure. For a second there. <laughs> like maybe, maybe now, she's get rid- now, I'll get rid of the couch if somebody wants to buy me a new one because that one is crap. Yeah. How old is it, though? I mean, it's been through some shit. That thing moved back here from Florida. Yeah, that's an old couch. That thing belonged to my grandmother before she died. Yeah. And then I had to bring her body back to Ohio. That was fun. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that? Did I ever tell you that story about being in the airport? And That's um, a great story. Um, so my grandmother died, but she's buried in Florida, uh, but she's buried here in Ohio. Um, and so I had to fly back from Florida, body, blah 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 blah, blah. and um, I'm in the airport, and I'm just at the bar because I'm going to take a taxi because I didn't drive or anything. And um, I had a drink because flying makes me nervous. I, I get really agi- I, I get really nervous and I tense up when flying because the first time I ever got onto a plane, when we landed, the front wheel came off. Oh, fun. At least you were landing. So planes make me very nervous. I get very anxious. And this is before I ever knew that you could have like comfort pets. Yeah. <laughs> Fizzy! <coughs> what happened to your dog? <laughs> Comfort pet. It's um, so I'm at the bar and this dude comes up and he's trying to hit on me. Remember, I'm in my 20s. So like I weigh like 140 pounds. I have these triple G chests. This was before I had my breast reduction and everything. So like I'm looking like these Instagram models back in the day. Um, and... He, this guy comes up and I'm at the bar and he tries to hit on me and he's like, so you waiting for somebody? I was like, yeah. He's like, well, what's his name? I was like, it's not a guy. He's like, oh, really? So who are you waiting on? I'm waiting for my grandmother to arrive. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet you're going to be so excited when she walks off of the plane. Oh, hell no. She walks off of the plane. I'm shooting her ass. Oh, my God. I hope not. <laughs> this, guy, this guy is just That's like, funny. what the? F-? I was like, she's dead. I'm waiting for her. I'm waiting for the plane that her body is on to get here. <laughs> like I had this guy. He's like, "You're here to shoot your grandmother? What? <laughs> I don't, no, no." <laughs> I just, I was not interested in being picked up at the time, and I was like, "Okay, now watch me fuck with you, <laughs> real quick." Because <laughs> I, I knew. I, it's almost like you could tell how the conversation's gonna go. Oh, so hey, are you single? Yeah, but. 
if you're going to bother me, I just got married three times over. Go away. <laughs> just whatever it takes to make you leave. Yeah. I don't know. There's like, I, I never, I never understood how some guys just can't pick up on the vibe of, look, I appreciate that. I will give you credit where credit is due. It takes guts. And I get that to walk up to somebody you don't know. Hi, Fizzy. And ask them, hey, do you want to dance? Would you like a drink? Are you single? Would you like to go out? It takes fucking cojones of steel, especially nowadays to do something like that. Hell, I can't do it. I've never had the balls to ask a guy out ever. Well, I've never had balls, but I've never had the guts to ask a guy out. And I probably never will. When it comes to a guy that I think is cute, I do this. <laughs> That's effective. I turn, I turn into like that three-year-old that you see in the store that gets shy and she lifts her skirt up. Except for now I know not to lift my skirt up because it's going to send the wrong message. So I do the opposite and I duck. Duck and cover. <laughs> it's just like, you know... I already look at him like this. Oh my god, he's so hot. Oh shit, he almost looked at me. Like, I go stupid. <laughs> Fangirl, everybody. I go completely stupid when it's like, I'm like, oh my god, look at, oh my god. Mindy, you okay? Oh, what are you <laughs> looking at? Ah, I want to touch it. <laughs> I will never be able to. I just go stupid. That's okay. I you know this. And I'll be right. honest though, dating today, see you're okay. When I don't get me wrong, okay, there are perks to everything. Being single, being married, being just dating, being whatever it is. There's perks to everything. There's perks to being mm -hmm. single. Sure. I like being okay. single and no kids. Because that means I can run around my house nude and not give a fuck. Right? Anything that you make is yours. You don't have to worry about like it's random mine. junk all well, that's the lie. You have animals. So you can worry about random junk all over. But you know, it's it's not like I have to be like, oh shit, I gotta call somebody because I'm running late or oh right. let me let me check my expectation. Let, let, let me see let me check my schedule to see if I can go out with my friends, you know, the one time I've done in like the last eight years. <laughs> For me, that's easy. Just don't have too many friends. <laughs> or have friends that, you know, don't do anything like you do. Like, eh. But we'll it, it, yeah. But even then, you know, it's like, oh, okay, when does so-and-so have to work? Um, is this, go you know, how loud can I get? Is this going to interrupt their sleeping? You know, because right. th these are things that, you know, when you're in a relationship, especially when you're living with someone, and, like, let's say you work a day shift and they work a night shift, mm -hmm. then, you know, you got to be like, okay, I need to let them get this amount of sleep, so I need to be quiet from, like, this time to this time. After that, I can get a little bit louder, and I'll apologize if I wake them up but you know I, I at least let made sure that they got like six hours of sleep before I was disturbing them and they have to do the same thing oh they come in at four o'clock in the morning they know you have to be up at six to go to work they're coming in they're trying to be quiet they're trying to be respectful I don't have that problem I can stay up as late as I want be as loud as I want as long as I don't bother my neighbors and I don't have to worry about anybody else's schedule or what they're doing it's me it's my life but yeah. there's sometimes that, dude, it's really, it, it, it must be comforting also to already be in a relationship. Like, I'll be honest, people go, well, are, are you going to start dating again? I don't know how. Yeah. Online makes it easier. That's how I found mine. Even, even there, though, Cassie? Dating? In my 20s? And in the 90s and early 2000s is not dating in the 2020s. No, of course not. As well, there's it should this, be. There's a, there's, no, no, no. I'm talking about there's this whole, oh, well, she has to pay half. Says when? Just depends on who you find. There's still people with old mindsets, if that's what you're looking for. It's like, um, oh, well, if you don't pay half, then you have to put out. Since when? 
You're you you gotta be smooth. You get a kiss from her, and even then, even back in the days, I'm like, okay, am I should I kiss the guy? I don't know. Am I? Uh, yeah. I'm not really, you know. Even when you, especially when you're like more feeling it, and you're just like, eh, can you just drop me? You can drop me. You know what? Cool. We're at a stoplight, and I can see my house from here. I'll just get out. Like I don't. I, I'm terrified to date nowadays because oh my god, <laughs> I, I I would have absolutely no idea. I'm very old school classic. Guy asked me out, we go out on date. Um, he pays. If it's a good date and I'm feeling it, yeah, you'll get a kiss and possibly another date. But you ain't getting laid. You aren't getting a blowjob, and I ain't paying for shit. So cheap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, I... I'll take you to McDonald's. <laughs> Dude, did, I ever, did I ever tell you about that motherfucker who took me to fucking Taco Bell nice. on a date? I was pissed. I was pissed beyond belief. Dude asks me out. Okay, cool. Shows up at my house. I did my hair, my makeup. I I got I got my cutest, sexiest little outfit on. I am all dolled up and ready to go. I open the door and he's got a stained white t-shirt on and ripped up jeans. Should have been like there. Nope. <laughs> then looks at me and goes, "You ready to go? Cool. Yeah, yeah, I guess so." You, you, you've you already lost like points here or anybody <laughs> and he's like cool um, get your keys you're driving excuse oh I don't have a car I walked here okay <laughs> this these are the kind of things I kind of needed to know beforehand okay where are we going well I don't have a lot of money so let's just go to Taco Bell Okay, we go to Taco Bell. I order. He orders. Guess who ended up having to pay because the other one didn't have any fucking money. Three strikes, you out. Here's your Taco Bell. You can walk from here. I'm going home. I'm all about everybody paying for themselves. And there's no expectations and there's no feelings of like, you know, Bye. owing something. I was just like, bye. Like, no. No, 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 no. No. You don't. You didn't put any effort into this. You didn't let me. When you said you were picking me up, I was expecting you to drive. Now, this could have gone a whole nother way. Hey, sorry, I'm dressed the way that I am. I just got off of work. Would you like to go for a walk? Sure. While we're walking, we talk, we get to know each other. I find out you don't have a car. You're picking me up, but we're going on a walk. We're having some time together. We're spending some time together. Okay, cool. That would have been cool. We happen to go to Taco Bell because that's there, because that's within the walking area of what we were doing. But you still should have paid for the food. The fact that you showed up, you asked me out, you showed up on my doorstep. You did not attempt to even try to make yourself look presentable. You neglected to let me know that you don't have a car and expect me to drive us somewhere. And then we order food in a fast food restaurant of all places while I am wearing a $200 fucking dress, by the way. Because back in the days, I spent money. I had the money I spent. <laughs> Why would you have a $200 dress? Because it was sexy and made my ass go bing. Bing. So. Well, if you say so. Okay. Basic. It, 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 because it looked like the red dress that Alicia serviced are more and clueless. That's why. <laughs> okay. You know, the one where she gets held at gunpoint after she goes to the party? Right. Yeah. It's hot. It makes butt go bing. <laughs> Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever seen girls do that? Yeah. No. Don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um. But then you just. I order my food, and here's the kicker. Like I order. I think I order like two soft tacos and a and a Dr Pepper because. It's Pepsi at Taco Bell. And I was just like, yeah, we all know that I drink Diet Coke. Bitch don't order like 10 items. Like his food was way more expensive. It was like trying to, it's like taking like a little mini Tyler. Because you know, Tyler would spend like 50 bucks at Taco Bell and eat all of it in one fucking city. This dude mm-hmm. ordered like 10 freaking items. And then just go and looks at me and goes, oh, I ain't got money. You got to pay. Been like, nope, turn around. Um, I paid. No, nope, I want my food at this point. Pay. I'm gonna because because as soon as I paid, I grabbed my stuff and I was like, bye. I walked out the door. Yeah. I left. I went home. He was pissed at me. <laughs> what? What's your problem? What do you mean? <laughs> what's your problem. No. It's 2001. Last time I checked, it's still old school terms. <laughs> still old school. And I you like my old find school. Some people that are old school. It's, they exist. Okay. I can't tell you where to find them, but they exist. I, don't, don't, I have no idea. I mean, it would be, I don't know. And I don't know why that's the way that things are. And you know, but there is something about a guy going, okay, let me see what I could do to impress her. And there's something to be said about a guy who is very gentlemanly and he opens up doors and things like that. You know, yeah. there's just there's just something really, oh, you know, just showing that, you know. He cares. It, it, you know, it's kind of like throughout the years, you know, I've been on many different types of dates. I've had bad ones, that one. I've had really, you know, I've had your typical dates. Dinner in a movie. Dinner in a movie. Dinner in a movie. Oh, my God. Everything's dinner in a movie. It is the easy go-to. It is the easy go-to. Um, did date this one guy for a while. It was dinner in a nice restaurant and a show. He knew I was really into Broadway, and I and I think that's one of the reasons why I really liked him is because he actually in he paid attention to my interest because we had talked before we started dating, so he yeah. paid attention to the fact that I was because I was still in high school at the time, so he paid attention to the fact that I was in choir, that I liked stage plays, that I was really into Broadway, and that I liked to sing and dance at the time, so he took that. And he was like, I'll take it to an, and we'd always go to like a decent, nice restaurant. And then he would always take me to whatever show was playing in Cincinnati. And I That's really, cute. I really appreciated that because he was like, I've, it told me that he listened to me and that he paid attention to some of my interests. And I yeah. thought that was really cool. You know, it wasn't just, oh, dinner and a movie. And there were sometimes, yeah, the dinner in the movie was fine. Again, some guys actually caught on, you know, some guys showed that they actually, pay, that they were paying interest in me and listened to the stuff that I liked. The ones that didn't always took me to some stupid chick flick movie. Yeah. I don't know who, I don't know who you think I is, but this ain't my thing. Like one dude, one dude took me to see Titanic and I'm like, oh God, not this movie again. <laughs> like, I'm one of those people. I hate that movie, Cassie. I hate, I hate that movie. I hate that movie. It's an okay movie. I hate that movie. It's and then the guys, the guys that paid attention were taking me to, like, all the horror flicks. Yep. Them's my boys. <laughs> you all get a second date. You all pay attention to me. <laughs> but there is something that, so I, I think, you know, sometimes I do envy you for already having yours. Yeah, it's a good thing. 
there's really not many negatives I can think of. Like, even though, like, talking about walking around naked and stuff, like, I could do that with my, like, the only person I can't do that, of course, now with is Candace. But, now, you know, now, now that you have a kid. <laughs> now, that you, yeah. now, that you, now you and Justin have popped out an 18-year-old kid. No. <laughs> right. Right. That's how that works, right? When, when a daddy and mommy love each other very much. Yeah. <laughs> they pop out an 18-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> But I absolutely could do all that with him. Like, no, no worry. Like, and even the whole, like, waking him up type of thing, like, I feel bad about it. I really do. But then, like, we just kind of expect that you live with other people that you're going to have. Yeah, but it's not like you're... Bump. Like, but at the same point in time, Cass, I mean, like, you, you can tell when he's had a really bad day and you're just like, okay. Right. No, not gonna... It, it, it's not... It. It, I, ha- I, I, I have a friend and... Um, they, they work the midnight shift and their other half works a different shift than them. And they'll just go in and go, I'm hungry. So I'm going to go wake you up so you can get up and make me food. Even though you've only slept an hour and I've had a total of 10 hours of sleep. That would be bullshit. Yeah. That's no, there's a, obviously stupid. a common respect that's expected. There's there's no respect, and it, it really ticks me off because it's just like really, it's like yeah, or they'll const or they'll constantly have friends over, and they're just loud. I mean, like l- like Christmas party loud all the time, and he yeah. just went, and the person just went to sleep an hour ago, and I'm like, dude, have some respect. You can't tell me that you literally love and adore this person without having some kind of common sense and respect for your other. Sorry, right. I just it, it nope. Mm-mm, no. Sorry, that's not how they that, that's not that's not how my brain works. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you have to tiptoe through the house <clears throat> all the time, but you still have to have a level of respect for the other person within your home. Just like I know a lot of couples, they have <coughs> they a lot of couples mm-hmm. nowadays. Um, where before, like you had like a sewing room for the woman and the the study for the man, you know, old 50s, 60s shit. You know, mm-hmm. I know a lot of couples. Uh, Kathy, uh, That's baby sister, room. and her fiance. I can't believe she <laughs> they still have separate rooms because they can have their space. Yeah, just a place to get away. Right, because, you know, people are like, oh, but you guys don't work together. That's work. If you have a really bad day at work, you may not want to see your significant other. You may just want to be like, dude, I'm taking this bowl of ice cream. I'm going into my room. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. There's days like that. There's sure. days like that. There's days that I wish I could do that. The fizz gig is she'd understand. Fizzy, I love you. I've had a really bad day at work. No, I'm going to take this cup of ice cream and I'm going to sit down and watch YouTube videos and watch people make fun of stupid people. Bye. And my dog's like, ice cream! Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> I, I can't do that with my dog. My dog's like, no, I'm, I'm here. Uh-oh. I'm starting to lose you. It's starting to get not hot. It is pretty hot. Are you are you hot, baby? It's super hot. Like it was making you robotic. It was so hot. Dumb it's like futuristic So Mr. Roboto, Domo Domo. Domo Domo. <laughs> I I'm, sorry guys, I'm going on forty three. <laughs> showing the age, showing the age. <laughs> That's showing the age. <laughs> I gotta re diet again. Nah, you should let it go. It's too much work to dye hair. Actually, it really isn't. As long as I keep up with it, especially since hair dye is so cheap. The hair dye that I use is only like three bucks at Wally Mart. Wally Mart. And then all I have to do is hit here and the under, and I'm actually pretty good. I think the longest part of it is actually waiting the 20 minutes like, do do Come on, cause it, cause like, oh, cause what do I do? I can't sit down and put on my headphones because I don't want to get it on my headphones. So I'm like sitting here going, right, <laughs> nowhere to be. I don't understand. 
Like, it's like the longest 20 minutes of my life outside of working. <laughs> <laughs> Which, what is, what is it with that, Cassie? 15 what, minutes. Time? <laughs> what, what is the matter time of time? Is relative. 15 minutes. I'm having fun. 15 minutes. Boom. Pff. 15 sure. minutes at work. Oh, my God. Please just freaking turn it to 14 minutes already. It's all about, uh, yeah, paying attention. I'm just like. <laughs> when you look at the clock every minute, it's really difficult. Like, well, I, and, you, and here's like one of the sad things, like at my job. There's a clock on everything we look at. Yeah. So we always know what time it is. And it's just like. Uh... Yep. It's like we got. I got there at 7 this morning. It was 7.30. It had already felt like it was 9 o'clock. And I'm like. It's 7.30. I'm never going to see another day again. It's going so slow. Mm -hmm. Even though we were busy out the wazoo it was still going too slow. It was just going so slow because we were so short-handed and make lazy bitch. Sorry. <laughs> there, there are very few people on this planet that I will honestly ever say that I hate or they're not worth the flesh that they're printed on. But that bitch, she ain't worth the flesh she's printed yeah, on. Every now and then they exist. Like, nah, nah, fam, you gotta go. <laughs> and then, oh my god, I about killed one of my managers today. So I was like, I was sitting there and I was like, you know, she's talking about asking to become a manager, right? No, <laughs> I thought the manager had a heart attack and died. <laughs> like, oh god. I'm like, are you okay, Anna? Anna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like oh, I, it's like no, and my my only my only saving grace is, I finally was like, can we move her to night shift? And they're like, you really don't like her, do you? I was like, no. They're like, yeah, we can move her to night shift. Thank you. I mean, what what what's that gonna do to me? I have to do her job. Oh wait, I'm already doing hers and mine. Right. Where's my punishment? It's okay. I mean, what? What? what, what, what no. Bye. Uh. You know what the really creepy thing about that picture is? Is no, I can still not. see you looking at me through those eyes. Yeah, I am. I see you. I see Just staring you. like I've got that contest down. Stare contest. I'm the winner. Nope. I'm going to win. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Ow. I can't do that. Oh. By the way, I got attacked by one of those creepy crawly freaking things again. You did? What'd you do to it? It crawled out from behind. I was handing food out the window. And it crawled out from behind where I go to reach the ketchup. Mm. So, to the customer, if you ever find out what I do outside of where I work, I really do apologize for throwing your food up in the air and it landing on you. <laughs> but man, it don't do spiders. And I went, here you go. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> and my boss goes, what? Spider. I was like, somebody needs to kill it. Or I'm just burning the entire building down. That's not an option. Then kill it because I'm going to burn the whole building down. Or, or I got to leave indefinitely. <laughs> I was like, I will just go home till somebody messages me with a picture of its corpse. <laughs> and so, of course, you know, they pick it up and take it outside. Yeah, and then we had to go take it out the door that was right, like, right next to me. I'm like, no, you could take it out the back door. That's way back there that I never go by. 
way. And then I looked at the customer. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what was your order again? We'll get that remade for you. <laughs> right, like, you can just get twice. If you, how much did you catch? <laughs> That's all yours. You have. The best part was is actually the customer was really cool because they were like, you did better than I did. <laughs> Obviously, they have a right to phobia, too. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people do. Poor spiders. I know. It's just so funny because, like, everybody, because, like, when I screamed and I booked it and I, like, I booked it halfway across the building, everybody in the lobby stopped and went, <laughs> no. One of those, she having one of those mental breakdowns we see on YouTube all the time. All right, you should get your phone out. <laughs> Start recording. Get her! TikTok fodder! Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's, that is interesting. You know, we talk about YouTube, and, you know, I'm on TikTok and Twitch and YouTube, and I watch a lot of YouTube and Twitch. I don't really watch a lot of TikTok videos, but I watch a lot of YouTube and Twitch. I like TikTok when I'm really bored because I can just get lost in it. But you see these girls making millions of dollars. Some of them are talented, and I will grant them that. Some of them are not so talented. <laughs> Baby, you got boobs and butt. That's going to sag one of these days. Like, get your money while you can. I Use it now. Right. Break it in. Is this, but is this the new Hollywood? Like, will the generation, the next generation, will they even know Hollywood? Like, would you be able to say a name like Sean Connery or Harrison Ford or Sandra Bullock or Will Smith and these people even know who they are? That's a good question. I also think that's one of the reasons why you're finding more and more of these celebrities invading what used to be the low man totem pole content creator type stuff. And you see them getting onto TikTok and YouTube and Twitch. Why? Because it's New Hollywood, I think. And the celebrities that don't go to these are going to get lost, I yeah. feel. But then again, now you're now it's it, it, it also becomes a little bit harder to become what people call an influencer. I just want to call myself an entertainer. I don't want to influence anybody. Anything that I, anything that I say that comes out of my mouth is my opinion. They're just my opinions or my experiences. Just because something comes out of my mouth, I don't even talk for the people on my show. <laughs> they have their own opinions, their own their own experiences. They can agree or they can disagree. I am and that is fine. But my opinions are my opinions. Now, yes, my opinions are always right, but it's my show, so my opinions have to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Them's the rule. <laughs> Them's the rule. No. <laughs> but these are my opinions. So I don't consider myself an influencer influencer because I don't want to influence anybody. I don't want to be a role model. I'm not a good role model. <laughs> I'm not. I don't I I'm 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 not a very friendly person unless you get to be within my circle. Like people are you. If you're if you're not within my, I, I I am the type of person that will be as cordial to you as I possibly can be, while trying to hold back the venom that is forming in my mouth. But I don't like I I I, I if you're not if you're within my circle, I could probably be one of the best friends you'll ever have. True or false? True, super true. If you're within my circle. Outside of my circle and I don't know you, I will be decently as nice as I can be. You fuck with me, and it'll be the last day you ever see. Simple as that. Don't be my enemy. <laughs> Never be my enemy. That's that's not friends a good like idea. these 
who needs enemies. I love you. <laughs> it's like it, it, in okay. all honesty, it's the one. It's the one thing that I, 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 I I'm gonna be honest with because I am out there, and people know they see my face. So they know me. Right. I, to the best of my abilities, try to be civil. Fair enough. To people that I don't know. Right. But you could be like the jerk today that they had to pull me back to the drive through window of, over. What did this person do? So, I, I, like I said, I was doing like four different positions. And unless, unless you come through, if you don't want a drink carrier, when you place your order, say, oh, can I, um, no drink carrier. Then we won't put it, your drinks in a drink carrier. I had this person in the drink carrier, handing them their food, handing them their drinks, went to grab the next order, came back around, and he threw the drink carrier at me. Oh, oh no. no. That's just rude. You see this line? You don't cross this line. I was like, you rude ass mother. <laughs> Manager comes around the corner. No, nah, I'm going to beat him. <laughs> Yoink, pick the little thing up. <laughs> I, I may be fat, but I'm little. So I. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my fellow employees is like six, six foot three and like twice the size of me around. Yeah, he, he could just be like, keep. <laughs> what basically he looks like Snorlax. <laughs> if you do Pokemon, he looks like Snorlax. If you do Monsters Inc., he's a uh, Sully. Like that's <laughs> how big this dude is. <laughs> I was I was just like, what the hell? Right. What possesses some people to be that rude? I don't understand. I I, I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm just like, you don't want a drink carrier. That's fine. Just say you don't want a drink carrier. Yeah. But try, yeah. but say it when you're placing your, you know. And then I and I'll and I and like, there's a lot of people. Like, there are other customers that we've had. And I'm like, oh well, I'm sorry. They didn't tell me that you didn't ask for a drink carrier when you placed your order. Oh, I didn't. Oh well, here. If you actually when you order, if you say no drink carrier, they'll let me know, and I will not put your drinks in a carrier ever again. Simple yep. as that. So simple. And uh, there are a lot of the customers that have actually, they didn't know they could request no drink carrier. But it's, con it, you know, now that they know, they actually use it, which one is really cool. And two, it really does help because once I put, once it moves outside of the window and I let go of it, I can't have it again. Yeah. It's yours. If we hand you the wrong food, that food's yours, and the food that's going to be right is yours. The drink, it's yours. I can't touch it once you touch it. It's a whole brand new world with everything that's going on. Right, right. So, but to throw, it's one thing to be like, oh, I don't want the drink carrier. Okay, well, you know, if you do this next time when you order, okay, cool, here you go. And then, of course, because I've, I've already put his drinks in the drink carrier, I just have to toss it, which that seems stupid to me because it didn't go outside the window, but it is what it is. But to throw one at me. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. First off, I've already handed you your food and your drink. Move along, move along. You see me trying my best to move this drive through Why are you sitting here at this window, opening up your food, starting to eat, pulling out your drinks, pulling the straw in them, and then throwing shit at my head? Because some people are entitled bitches. Half of this world acts like entitled bitches. Mm. There, there is a major problem with people who are very entitled and people who cannot, um, what is it? 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 Oh my God. I know this word. Empathize? No, 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 no. They have no accountability. Okay. Yeah. 
Right. They don't take responsibility for their actions. They have no accountability whatsoever. Yeah. You know, I saw this one thing of this girl. And she put up a booty shot of her in like one of those net outfits on Instagram and got upset because she lost a contract with a company. And she's blaming it because, you know, they're sexist and racist. I'm like, you put a photo on Instagram. 80% of the photo is your booty. And I see your booty. Yes, it's a nice booty. But it ain't nothing but booty. Right. Inappropriate. Either way. If you... And people have a brand and, you know... They're allowed to. They're they're allowed to. There are men, there have been opportunities that people have reached out to me, going, "Hey, we'd actually be interested." Then they see, "Oh, you drop an f bomb, you know, goo." Yeah. Look, as whatever type of content creator you are, whether you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitch or Twitter or YouTube or TikTok or Reddit or whatever it may be. There are companies care about two things, the way they look and the money. That's it. It's all about looking good and the money. And there doesn't have to be something in a contract or anything like that that you're looking at that says, oh, you can't post booty pics. The company can go, nah, sweetheart. That's just not how it's going to be. At the end of the day, you have to choose. Do you conform so you can keep these sponsorships, these paychecks? Because, yeah, it sucks losing the money. It sucks to lose the money, especially if you're like, oh, bank, I'm getting this. And then something like that happens. Dude, I'm not saying that it does not suck because it sucks. It sucks so bad. You're just like, oh, money. But you've got one or two choices. You either conform. And then you have to, and conforming means you're going to be squeaky clean. You're not going to be doing the cussing. Um, I know, I, I know, I know a lot of um, African-American creators that don't even use the M word because they think that it gives the wrong image and they don't want to lose their sponsorships. They go squeaky clean and I get it. I just don't know if I could ever be that squeaky clean. But like, oh, well, you know, if you uh, got rid of the F words. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Could you imagine me getting through one day without saying an F bomb, Cassie? I think we lost her. I think the phone went dead. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, there she is. Cassie? Okay, I hear you. I've heard you the whole time. Okay. Well, no, I couldn't hear you. So, back to that question. Could you imagine me getting through a whole day without the F-bomb? I said, um, so you weren't talking that whole day, huh? (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Right. Like, just quiet. Whole day. So, you, but like I said, you either conform or you stay true to who you are. Don't get upset if somebody doesn't want to brand you or someone decides, no, that's not the image for me. There will be people who don't care. And they will come knocking. At the end of the day, you have to do you. And you have to find your way. And every platform has its own way. You know, there are a lot of content creators out there that have gone the route of blurring every thing. You know, and there are things that I do too, you know. There are certain words that I say other other words for or things like that because I know it's all about money. It's always gonna be about money, you know. No matter what platform you on, let you me have to let, appease let, the crowd. <laughs> yeah. These people up here. 
They're going to tell you whatever they need to tell you. They're going to give you all the lip service you want. So they look good. Keep, keep the image looking good. But make the money. That's all these companies care about. They don't care about you. Unless you're making them the money. Right. <laughs> it's, it's really that simple. You know. It's one of the reasons why I'm grateful that I actually gave Twitch a try because I've been able to progress further in this year and a half, almost two, what is it? No, this two, two and a half, almost two and a half years. I have progressed further in these two and a half years on Twitch than I ever had the opportunity to do on YouTube. Right. I used to pass YouTube and I've been on YouTube since for 10 years, 10 years I've been on that platform. And I'm bigger here on Twitch than I ever was on YouTube. Yeah. Gotta go where you can shine, you gotta, right? You gotta go. Does that mean that I'm giving up on YouTube? No, I'll still post videos and stuff like that. I still do it because there's still people over there that actually watch my stuff. And I don't want I don't I don't want anybody to because there are people who do not want to come to Twitch. Just like there are people who do not want to go to YouTube. And so if they want AGP content, I want to make sure that they can still get some of the content from AGP. So, you know, they can still enjoy some of the stuff that we do. It's right. just Twitch has been a lot better for me. And I've said it and I've, I've said it many a times. In my opinion, my opinion, the way how YouTube makes me feel, I don't mean shit to them. Yeah. Yeah, I am so small and so insignificant. I don't make them any money with my 209 subscribers on there. That I can make the exact same video as someone who makes them money. And it has happened. I've made almost, I have made videos similar to, not exactly the same, but similar to within the same realm. Following all the procedures that I'm supposed to follow. And I still get hit. Copyright strike here, here's this, I appeal it, I get denied. And because I'm so low on the totem pole, I don't even have a rep to help defend me. I'm just screwed. Yeah. I'm just screwed. I lose. I, I, I lose. I will always lose. And that's the way right. how it is. It's 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 sad, and but right. <gasps> oh goodness, you know, because <laughs> eyeballs. Oh no, <laughs> water. Yes. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it's a good sneeze. It's one of those like sinus clearing sneezes. I hate being almost 43 years of age and finally having sinus issues. Thanks, COVID. I've had them all my life, so I, I have no sympathy. Sorry. <laughs> I still can't smell and taste right since I've had COVID. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm constantly battling sinus issues. And you know me. I've never had any sinus issues. Yeah. You know me and for 10 years. Suck. Sinuses and these are suck. Awful. These really suck. Oh my god! I don't know how you people have lived your lives with the sinus problems. Oh my god! Fuck this shit. Yeah. And um, my brain doesn't work the same. Like a lot of stuff gets really foggy. Yeah, I've heard that like, before. It's, it's COVID brain. Yeah, basically, it's COVID brain, like fog brain, or and it's like what the, mm, like. That'd be I'm, frustrating. I'm, it, it's very frustrating. It sucks. But I got some good news for you and your What's phone. That? We've hit the one hour mark. Okay. Oh, cool. No, we haven't. Mine says 59.43. 44. 45. 46, That's because that's the that. 48. 49. We stopped 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. <sighs> You're adorable. Well, I mean, but, if we're going to be literal, I'm sorry. My bad. But you know, hey, you, you know what? You know what? I thought, you know, things didn't go exactly how I originally had planned. Someone is in a lot of trouble for not showing up. But I get it. Life yeah. life gets in. Here's the thing. Life gets in the way. Yeah, but he still gets a spanking. Obviously. <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? His girl can do that. No, no. No, 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 no. I didn't no, say no, no. we had to do it. Just said he deserves Daisy, the thing. get him. Daisy, go fetch. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, seriously, um, all in all, good conversation. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So what I got out of that is you need to start dating again. <laughs> <laughs> You're like super excited to get back in the dating pool. That's what I heard. Uh, <laughs> can I take like a lightsaber for protection in case the guy's like no <clears throat> bad I mean I think a taser is a little less conspicuous but sure why not yeah but I don't want to ruin the, <laughs> I, I don't want something to happen to the taser we need that for the 24 hour live stream for extra life this November <laughs> priorities <laughs> priorities <laughs> I need this my Excuse me. I don't know. We talked about dating. We talked about body image. We talked about platform. We didn't talk about the new uh, the new Dead by Daylight chapters out, and I will not be here on Friday because I'll be in Chicago. So you'll have to be doing it without me. Ha huh? ha. That only leaves three. That's, that's sad. So we may not get to do it at all. We'll have to wait till you come back. Oh, well, then in that case, we'll all experience it together. <laughs> As we should. Wesker. That's right. One of my husbandos. Yeah. I, li I like Wesker. He's awesome. <laughs> we, I'm it, interested to see how he's going to kill. It's, it, it, so am I. It, especially because I've played all the Resident Evil games. Um, and actually, uh, Fuel and I... Uh, we're prepping for a Resident Evil podcast for our Dark Descent into Horror podcast. Oh, nice. Um, and we're starting off with all the animated films. So, yeah. Um, we did watch the Welcome to Raccoon City. What is that? Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. It was supposed to be the Faithful movie. To the video game. Oh, okay. Was it not? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Now well, that should be an interesting one then. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. Um, but as for faithfulness, no, no, no. You got all the characters wrong. And I'm not, and when I say you got the characters wrong, I'm not talking about, oh, because they're of a different race or something. I don't care about that. You know, I don't care. You know, I get it. You're going to throw as much diversity into everything that you care. And I get, and I think diversity is a good thing. I just think that, um, right now it's smoke and mirrors bullshit and you guys are just doing it so you can say you're doing it. Not because yeah. you're. I don't think you're picking the right person for the right jobs all the time. I think you're going, okay, we need a redhead, a blackhead, a blonde head. Let's go. Pick one of each. You know, you're, you're just trying to diverse for the sake of diversity instead of just going, cool. Who's more talented? Who deserves Who's more the, talented who's, and who deserves the role? Who embodies the character. Right. Um, but their backstories who they are as characters, their personalities completely fucked up wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but that. hey, the sets look nice. That's good. At least there's a small silver lining. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, the Mila Jehovah's Resident Evil movies, they're really not all that great either. I enjoy the first two. Yeah, the first two after that, I was done. <sighs> but how hard is it to get a Resident Evil movie? It's simple. You get these characters. Jill Valentine, Albert Wesker, <laughs> uh, Chris Redfield, uh, Vickers. And I can't remember the other guy's name. And you take the, and come up for whatever fucking reason you need. For them to go into the mansion and have shit happen to them. And make it a sloppy, B-rated, fun, goofy movie. Do it. Embrace what it is. 
embrace it. Show me the get and then fan service it for the fun of it, just to show you how how you really liked Resident Evil. So your first jump scare is that jump scare from the video game of the dog jumping through the window as you're playing Jill Valentine. Oh shit! Fuck, that was scary as shit back in the day. Give me the fucking giant spider that's in there. Show off the fucking liquors that fucked me over so many times. Give me the twist ending of the one who betrays everybody in there. Yeah. It's I not that hard. That. Throw zombies in a mansion, giant spiders, liquors, zombie dogs. There's a twist. Booyah. And your post and your in your end credit scene is I don't I don't know if I should even say because I don't want to I don't know is there anybody who does who's, has to play the video game I mean the video game came out in what two thousand a while ago. But I really don't know when. 1996. 1996. Okay. Spoilers. Five, four, three, two, one. Spoiler. Albert Wesker sends them in there to die because that was his job. He was already he already has the T virus in him. They think that they kill him. Your end credit scene. Albert Wesker comes back. He's not really dead because he was already injected with the T-virus. And you find out he's been working for Umbrella this entire time. Dun, dun, dun. Cut to black. And now you're ready for your sequel. It's so fucking simple. I just wrote you the fucking movie. Here. Take it. It's already played it for you. Take it and make my movie. By the way, if you're talking, I can't hear you again. I'm not even a writer, and I just wrote you the movie. I can be a little more complicated than that. But uh, look, you can fill in the blanks. But I get here. I oh, gave you, you a skeleton. Yes, I can hear you. I gave you a skeleton <laughs> of a script. Fill it up with all the really cool whatever effects you want. But I've given you. I'm giving you the movie. It's not that hard. But, hey, look, I gave you your 10 seconds plus some. Yeah, we went over the 10 seconds. It's perfect. So, <laughs> so on that note, everybody, I do want to thank you guys for listening to us just ramble about stuff today. Um, sometimes it's good to just be able to ramble and get stuff off your chest. Amen to that. Yep. But, of course, as always, everybody, I want to thank you all for joining us. I want to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to be a content creator on all the platforms that that we use. Um, and, of course, those are going to be we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit. And, of course, um, we're right here on uh, Twitch. And, of course, we're over on YouTube. But on that note, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Cassie, thank you, as always, for being here, you smiling evil kitty cat of a person. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye. Bye.